Ready? Take one. Let's hope it works. Hey, Kering brought the Joe. Better get it while it's lukewarm. Let's give this a try, shall we? Now, gentlemen, it is important that we get ourselves together over these next several days and make sure we're ready to uh, roll, as it were. This is a wonderful opportunity that has been extended to us by the head office at... <laughs> head office. Knock it off, Beavis. All right, butthead. Now, gentlemen, this is precisely what I am talking about. If we are going to prove ourselves on this journey, then we are going to have to remain disciplined and folk. Don't start rubbing your two balls in my face already. Seriously. At least wait until the second night. But only if you cuddle afterwards. Reverend! What? I didn't say it. Well, do not encourage him. Well, I don't think I have to. It's not like he sits around waiting for a pat on the head. Nope. But maybe a little scratch behind the ears. Oh, good boy. <sighs> hey, gang. Welcome to my life. Where anything is possible and nothing is as it seems. I'm Freedom. And I'll be your host, coming at you from within the depths of Geistopia. Ah. Welcome to my life as a project, an experiment in life and art. A living storyboard, if you will. Its premise is that life is experiential, and that you can, and do, experience the life you choose. It is based on the use of the real of life on the arts for the new millennium as life building tools. Yeah, it's true. Welcome to my life as an ITV Studios Geist House Players production in association with the Center for Creative Inspirationalism. Just Us Productions, the parent company, would like to give a shout out to the following for their ongoing and oft times unknowing inspiration and support. Princess Cuddlebug, Princess Sunshine, Crazy and Company, The Shaman, The Pillar, Evan Bob, The Warden, The Entire Butt, Butt, Butter Clan, Fairy Princess, Professor Siggy Chong, Sparky, Wenceslas, The Man Man, and General Ralph Glossop, may they rest in peace. The Messengers of the Galactic Federation, The Looch, Bassett Town, Burt, Dawn, The Baker of the Cornbread, Andy Pendy, The Mutter, Zason, Oh, Danny Boy, St. Diane and you, Brother John, Spooky Queen, Thing Two, Snuffbox, The Munchkin and Her Family, The Nameless One, Your Good Man, Charlie Brown, Jim, The Rocks, CCPA, Chanel Number no. 5, Superstar, PDT, Sir Richard Slouch, The Wixians, The Socialite, The Village of Idiots, Pizniffer, Dancing Queen, Downtown Encyclopedia, Brown, The Legendary, Pink Elephants, Baby Mama Rabbit, Bell, The the babes and of course a very generous sponsor who not so much wishes to remain anonymous I'm waiting for you to poke something out like that so am I <laughs> it is Thursday January 28th 2020 fun time increasing what's going on so um next time you better pour me one of those hell no that's half the fun so I'm having a an odd day not a bad day but an odd day Yet, I am not surprised, because, A, it's the day before, a full moon. Not just any full moon, this one is part of this whole pattern I've been going through since June? Definitely since August. Certainly since October. So we'll see. I don't know. Uh, but 
Also, because we're getting increasingly close to uh, launching the Hoodoo Voodoo Tour. So what I am experiencing, what I'm going through, I'm not surprised. This is a spiritual quest. I got some, I got some stuff I got to let go of there. I got to just let it get out. You know what I'm saying? I just got... Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. You need to understand. Like, yeah, I'm going. Woohoo. Woo! Woo! Yeah! Now he speaks. If there's one thing I'll say about Doc, he's got timing. You think? Hey, Doc, what are you doing back there? You've been awfully quiet. Oh, just taking notes a nap. Taking a nap. But I'm having a kind of a fun morning. So I woke up. I was parked at the putters. I didn't use my my accoutrements. I had two coffees left from last night. I knew at least one was going to be left. But man, I was just done. Done. I couldn't do anything but go to sleep when I parked after work last night. However, this morning I got up. Put my coffee in the saucepan. And I heated it up while I drove to my first parking spot, where I hung out for a couple of hours, made another pot of coffee with the other cup. I trimmed up a little bit, brushed my teeth, drove over here to the Grove. Dude, man, I'm on my second cup of coffee. I've been all these places, and I am still in my pajamas. So I'm talking about. There are some advantages to living in your van. Find the silver lining. Do, 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 do. We should make up a game for that. Any any hoot and a holler. I I'm trying to touch it base. I'm trying to you know get this groove going. I'm trying to figure all of this out before we get going. So I wanted to touch base. I'm going to be honest with you. It's not actually Thursday when I'm filming this. It's Wednesday. But Thursday I have a crazy day and I won't have time to film. But I wanted to film. Because Thursday marks three days left until three, the magic number three, uh, until we go. And I thought that would be a fun time to do another check-in but I got all sorts of stuff. However, I will have time to edit. So uh, today is also, I said I was having an odd day and I know this is going to run over. That's one of the things I'm going to need to figure out is time. How much time is too? Lesson of the week. Put on the do not disturb when you're going to do this. How much time is too much time? But it's been this crazy, like, mega totem day. And it's not that the totems have been mess massive or splendid. Uh, it's just that when they're coming, they're coming, like, en masse. They're not just, like, one or maybe two at a time. We're talking, like, hordes. Maybe a slight exaggeration. <laughs> no, but like when I went to the first parking spot, which I had at the last minute decided that's where I was going to go, nine deer, adventures, travel, no, horses travel, and freedom, uh, gentle luring to new adventures, nine. Hmm. Then on my way to the grove, there had to be about 50, I'm going to say crows because I'm not sure ravens travel in such large groups. And then there had to be about nine or ten vultures in the sky while I was sitting here. Death Eaters. Sometimes the words come through and you just don't know how to react to them. So anyway, I was just checking in. I, I, I figure there will be something Sunday. May not be a full-scale whatever. 
Uh, there will definitely be stuff Monday. I don't know how that's going to work yet. I wanted to check in now because like Friday I work a double. Saturday I work, but then I need to like do some laundry and get myself settled and really kind of go over things because Sunday they convinced me to work in the morning and then I'm going right from there to pick up the girls so we can go and mall crawl and have dinner before I go and then I need to drop them off and then go back and load up stuff in the van because I'm going to have to do unload it either Saturday night or first thing Sunday morning and then Monday we're off and running if you're not already there please visit the welcome to my life Facebook page WTML you can also find me on Facebook under rev dot space Matt you can continue to follow us right here on the YouTube channel welcome to my life 08 or you can check that blog that appears at the bottom of the screen in the beginning of the video. Wherever you are and whenever you are, please like, comment, and share. We're on a journey and it takes everyone to get there. So without hesitation, for now and for always, from here in Geistopia, this is your beloved Rev. And Walt. Und Doc. And Johnny. And those guys. Saying stay tuned in, fellow travelers, and wishing you peace, love, light. And freakishness, baby. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Hold on! I gotta take some notes here! Hey, hold on. Shit, I still have... <laughs> I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. DeMille. <laughs> oh, wait, I need a Together, man. You can't speak, you're in the wrong glasses. So are you. Damn. Don't ask. I wasn't gonna. Yeah, you were. I know. I have no clue. All right, so <laughs> what did we just do? Oh, the shot game. This is that life is experiential. Und sand you can on do. <laughs> keep up with you. That's what she said. Knock it off! I'm trying to work here! Yep, we went through all of that for that! Why I just staying right? Why do we watch these jiggies? I don't understand! Oh, Lord, help me. Help me, Lord. Help me.